Hello and welcome to the Eros Comic School and today I will talk about the yin and yang of your composition and why it is so important and that we can find it everywhere. So what am I talking about, the yin and yang? Well, you can find it in pictures like this and even though the background is kind of, uh, I kind of drew on it, you have like a yin and yang of figure and space or um, you have somehow the yin and yang black down here a bit wider up here the contrast of her skin to the contrast of um, the body as you can see like it's it's not matching up evenly but as you can see the the white parts um, kind of contrast the other parts and we can see this in comic covers where you can see of course we have three figures but we have also a background and that leaves us enough space um, i'm just going through some quick um i'm going through some quick or, or as you can see on this comic cover we have like the yin and yang the black up here with then the text and then we have um the girl or woman down here and even in as you can see again the the white of her skin and hair is contrasted by the black of uh, this bra or what she wears and let me show you another example even in um, books or book covers you have here a certain yin and yang you have here the three motives um, ranged background, midground, maybe foreground and then you have this one red dot that catches the eye as you can see similar a bit um, not that I was applying this to this uh, but certainly there are certain um, design principles with what which people um, let me zoom out a bit as you can see maybe a bit of similarity as you can see and it's not just the composition side it's also what you fill in let me show you also um, the simplest form where you have just um, this is not black and white but it's yin and yang the red of the background is contrasted by the black of the foreground and even there it's like um, recognizable figure and then just black or dark and then contrast um, yeah and it's not something you should obsess about again similar designing principles um, where we read the face kind of similar that is usually due to the um, our style of reading we read like from left to right from top to bottom so every comic artist I will show you a comic page in a second I guarantee you it will apply this principle um, there is like a reading direction and it comes down here and if you follow this zigzag lines and start to create a yin and yang with that and keep that in mind your pictures your comics designs everything will look much fresher even as you can see like this is just a book title but as you can see um, let's call it content even like you have now here New York Times bestseller the ultra mind solution you have a picture down here but everything you see on this red contrast is kind of like if we could sum it up I would guess it's almost certainly 50 50 um, we have enough content but we have also enough space and let me show you a comic page so we can see that even in the panels like look at this um, the amount of stuff painted on this page um, will I guess s contrast the the blueness of the of the background and then of course we have here some two figures uh, pretty close together but as you can see like probably these two 50-50 to the background and here it's a bit cramped but even though you count this together you have like here 
it's here it's not the figures here is uh maybe she's the yang and he's the yin like white space black space and here it's the round in contrast to the square or here it's the face in contrast to the background and here is again she brighter he darker um background foreground you can see the back the yin and yang framed here so um and even in magic cards and probably um best to show you as you can see um there is a clear background something coming to the foreground but even here um the yin and yang applies um and again don't obsess over it take stuff you like look at it um and try to implement it in your own work um there's always important that there's something in the background something in the midground and something in the foreground so you have a three dimensional space um thinking in a box or uh, in like as you can see like this would be if i would make a grid this would make a three dimensional space space but also this one is great um yin and yang doesn't have to be equal but you have this big blocky structure and then you have um the sky in the background that contrasts that and then the foreground i would say this is like kind of this wave um this yin and yang wave like this against this here and yeah just a quick example um again in my do flamingo um you can find it also like i have to zoom out a bit but you have like the contrasting space um empty space a bit of the background a bit of the foreground you have some play the knee coming forward um but i kind of failed in the mantle i did too much of um this um painting in here but as you can see the um, his vest carries that yin and yang and also beautifully seen in the upper part we have more of the red and in the lower part um we have more of the white beautiful example um when you draw sometimes this comes very naturally to to you uh, this is just a quick quick sketch of a girl um with hair but as you can see um the black on the outside contrasts the white on the inside and also the black carries a bit of white and the white carries a bit of black it is now time for the next video see ya i hope this could have this helped you